Nothing's gonna get in here. Not even a monster. Oh no. Nothing can get in here. kids uh, building a tent on the trampoline. Maybe we'll tell ghost stories later tonight, huh? You guys want to hear some ghost stories? Yeah. <laughs> we have an emergency. Autumn's hair, it got stuck in the zipper. <clears throat> She's totally cool. I'm going to set up the fire. We can tell some spooky ghost stories. Hey babe, what are you gonna do? I'll make a fire. Make a fire. Oh, Colin! I'm gonna go on the fire. No, you're not. Hi, my name is Colin. I want to see the fire to get in. What? You don't want to get in it? Oh, Daddy's got wood. Where's my wood? Oh no! Here, try that again, babe. Oh no! Watch out! Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Oh no! Oh. Do it harder! I got it. You broke our tree! <laughs> uh oh, is the Lorax coming back here? I'm the Lorax. Why did you break my tree? I don't know. What do you think? You think it'll light? Dude, that looks awesome. You did such now a good job, babe. Now let's get our fire sticks. You're a pro fire starter. So, we've got the tent set up now. And we have pillows and some awesome Halloween blankets that my grandmother quilted herself. And they actually glow in the dark, which is even better. I And so does David's shirt. Are we doing shirt. marshmallows right? Hey, Colin, can I ask you a quick question? Do you know what happens if you get fire on you? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to run around and then the fire will go away. No, you're supposed to stop, drop, and roll. Do you know how to do that? Drop. What? Go on the grass. You stop, you're on fire. You drop to the ground and you roll. Good job. About me, me. Okay, Autumn, what do you do if you're on fire? Um, what do you do, Colin? You stop. You just drop and roll. Good job, Colin. Stop, fire. drop, and roll. You don't run, that's for sure. We have fire! Here's my Tom Hanks. Look what I have created! I have made fire! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh no! Oh no! Are you okay? Good job, come here. Are you alright, little man? Oh, okay, I love you. Mama, can I blow that? Yeah, sure. Happy very young birthday to you! <laughs> blow it out, Autumn. Good job, yay! We can't eat that cake. Yeah. Let's I got one. Autumn has one too. That is a big stick. Mine is a big Some pot. people have Amazon fire sticks. I just have fire sticks. Yeah. Oh. oh boy, are you okay? Yeah, it just got a little burned. Wow. Oh, you stopped dropping and rolling? Good job. We have some of our ghost books up there. Let me see. Ooh, that looks like a good book. We can read a classic scary stories. What is this? Ooh, that's a good one. Hey guys, look what I have. Yay. Scary stories. Mom, it's too scary. It is not too scary. 
Have you guys ever heard the story of the Proctor Valley Monster? <gasps> Colin? So the kids don't know the story of the Proctor Valley Monster. And these houses that we live in, Colin, this, this no. is all Proctor Valley. So a long time ago, where all this stuff is now, used to be nothing but cows and stuff. Yeah. And there was a monster who would go around and take the cows. And nobody ever caught the monster. And they built all these houses and stuff. And some people say they can still see the monster sometimes. And he doesn't like fire. The monster is called... The Proctor Valley Monster. Don't talk about it. Fire's catching. I'm sorry, but I have to get a knife. I'm sorry if I see a monster, I'll get a knife and then kill it. You're not gonna catch it? I have to kill it. Why? <laughs> Are the kids gonna sleep on the tent tonight? I think maybe they'll try. Do you guys wanna sleep in the tent tonight? Yeah. Hey babe. Yeah. So I was reading this book and um, there's all these stories that are based off of true stories. Mm -hmm. And you grew up with the Proctor Valley Monster. Did you ever have like any signs or anything that the Proctor Valley Monster was at a place or around? Or um, there was one time me and my buddy Brian, he lived at the very edge of Proctor Valley Road. Uh -huh. uh, it was actually where pavement stopped and dirt began and it was a dirt road all the way from here, all the way to Hamul, okay. which is like 35 miles. Anyways, I was staying the night at his house one weekend and he and I decided to go out late. Okay, I gotta turn the camera around. So, me and my buddy Brian, anyways, it was late at night and me and Brian decided, hey, let's go and uh, go for a walk down the dirt road. And then we saw a huge glow on the horizon and we heard bongo drums. And this is honest to God, true story. There was a circle of people beating drums, and I don't know if they were trying to conjure the Proctor Valley monster, or they were doing some sort of a ritual for something else, but bongo drums. And oh, and also somebody was smacking a tree with a big piece of wood, and it was making a big clack, clack, clack sound that was echoing. Yeah, we could probably try that here. It was echoing all Dude, throughout the canyon, all throughout the valley. The I did hit that tree with a stick. I wonder if I should hit the tree some more, maybe. You already did. What if the Parker Valley monster is gonna come? What do you guys think? Should I hit the tree? See if the monster will come? No? Maybe go look at the, the tree and make sure you didn't hit it too hard. All right, well, I know I hit it hard. You could see where I hit it really hard. It's got a big scratch in it. It must have been really loud. And I have a bongo drum. Let's go get it. Okay, stay here with mommy and I'll go get it, okay? I got the bongo drum. Um, actually, this is a djembe. Good job! Did you hear that? David, what did you, did you hear? hear? What did you hear? I thought that, I thought you said the drum keeps it away. I thought I heard like a big growl. Call him, where are you going? I'm going to carry No, you you're not. The Parker Valley monster can't get us when we're on the trampoline. Are you going to kill it? Are you going to kill it, Dad? If I see it, yeah. <laughs> I gotta look out there. I gotta see what it is. <laughs> let's run inside. Okay. Oh. Let's go, let's run inside. <laughs> it's you, Dad. What is it, Daddy? Yeah, what, <laughs> what about the tent? We'll take it down tomorrow. You seriously hear growling out there? Yeah. Well, don't let the kids know. We can come out here later, babe. No. Oh. Don't say anything to the kids. What are you doing, Paul? I'm getting the tent. Oh, that's a good idea. Because then mommy doesn't have to do it tomorrow. You getting all the blankets, Colin? Yeah. I'll bring the tent inside. 
I wouldn't be worried, Colin. There's nothing out here. That's your daddy. That was close. Dad, I come on. Mm. Tell me if you see anything. I heard the barking spider. Okay, we're back inside. Oh, and I just folded those and put them nice and neat. Oh, but she needed a lounge out. Well, it wasn't a monster, it was just Daddy. It's his fault today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was all just all pretend, fault. all make believe. Hey guys, we were just having some Halloween fun. It was kind of early for Halloween, but we love Halloween. Anyways, kids are uh, in bed now. I'm gonna read them a couple of stories. And they know that monsters aren't real, so. And that was just daddy. Yeah, we were just having fun. Because pretty soon Halloween's gonna come. And we gotta get ready. And we got. For the tricks and, and the treats. And we got spiderwebs. Give me some tricks to me. So we just, yeah. we just got spiderwebs. Did you yeah, have we have a bunch of stuff. Did you guys have fun? Did you have fun tonight telling stories? Yeah. Did you have fun tonight? Lay down, Colin. Pretending to be scared? <laughs> He's like, yeah. I don't know. I kind of got really scared. We won't do that. So Colin's got school in the morning, and I'm going to read them a couple of books tonight. He checked out this book from School Library. It's uh, Bailey Goes Camping. And then also the big book of Creepy Crawlies. Is that what it's called? Are you sure that's not going to be too scary, Colin? Pixar, come on, buddy. This is the best part of the night yeah. when Daddy reads bedtime stories. Come on, Pixar, let's go. Let's let Daddy read the story. Everybody say goodnight. Say goodnight. Good I love you. Good night. I love you more. If you guys like You're the video, give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully you subscribe and we'll keep doing it. And the channel, the next one, the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I can't believe she remembered. Bye, guys. Have fun reading.